the Olkiluoto nuclear power plant, Europe's largest nuclear marvel unveiled. In the quiet coastal town of Ureyoki, nestled along the Gulf of Bothnia in western Finland, the Olkiluoto nuclear plant has slowly been taking shape, a testament to the nation's pioneering strides in nuclear energy. Among its reactors, Unit 3 recently claimed the title of Europe's most powerful nuclear unit. The journey, however, was not without its trials. From the early challenges of design delays to the global fear sparked by the Fukushima incident, Olkiluoto faced the complexities of constructing a cutting-edge nuclear facility. However, the government of Finland has slowly poured billions into the construction to ensure it is completed. So, what makes the Olkiluoto nuclear power plant significant for Finland? Join us as we delve into how Olkiluoto might just have unlocked the answers to some of Earth's most pressing issues, positioning Finland as a pioneer in the nuclear power race. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. So, let's delve into the details. First, let's go over the key aspects and operational features. The Olkiluoto nuclear power plant stands as a testament to Finland's commitment to harnessing nuclear energy. Operated by Teolusuden Voima Oi, this plant is a key player among Finland's nuclear power facilities, alongside the Lovisa plants. Situated approximately 20 kilometers from Rauma and 50 kilometers from Pori, the Olkiluoto plant comprises two boiling water reactors, BWR, boasting a formidable 890 megawatt capacity each. However, stealing the spotlight is Unit 3, a European pressurized reactor, currently reigning as the most powerful nuclear power plant in Europe and clinching the third spot globally with an impressive 1,600 megawatt capacity. The construction of Unit 3 commenced in 2005. Originally slated for commercial operation in May 2009, the plant encountered its fair share of challenges, steering its course toward a momentous milestone that was finally realized on May 1, 2023. How has the Olkiluoto nuclear power plant evolved over the years? The Olkiluoto nuclear power plant started with units 1 and 2, each featuring two boiling water reactors designed to generate a robust 890 megawatt of electricity. The intricate construction of these units involved Asia Atom, now part of Westinghouse Electric Sweden AB, as the main contractor, with crucial contributions from various entities such as Stal Laval for the turbo generator and Woodcom Sweden AB for the reactor pressure vessel. Unit 1, crafted by Atomi Rakenos, became self-sustaining in July 1978 marking the beginning of its commercial operation in October 1979. Meanwhile, Unit 2, constructed by Yukola and Tio with Tuma, became self-sustaining in October 1979 and commenced commercial operation in July 1982. Over the years, both units underwent significant enhancements, with Units 1 power gradually increasing from 660 megawatts to 860 megawatts by 2006. Unit 1 underwent extensive refurbishment, including replacing turbines, generators, isolation valves, electrical switchgear, and seawater pumps. These upgrades boosted its net electrical output by 20 megawatts to reach 880 megawatts. Following suit, Unit 2 underwent a comprehensive modernization in 2017, elevating its output to 890 megawatts since early 2018. Notably, both units received permit extensions in September 2018, securing their operation until 2038. Now, let's take a look at Unit 3 and figure out why it is so significant. In a groundbreaking move, the Finnish government, in February 2005, gave Teilisuden Voima TVO the green light to construct a third reactor, marking Finland as the first Western European country to order a reactor in 15 years. The ambitious venture, known as Olkiluoto 3, began construction in the same year, with a targeted commercial operation launch set for 2010. However, a series of delays pushed the timeline, and it wasn't until May 2023, a staggering 18 years after construction began, 
that normal production finally kicked off. Distinguished as the pioneering construction of an evolutionary pressurized reactor, EPR, a third generation pressurized water reactor, Okilowoto 3 boasts a remarkable capacity of 1600 megawatts. Japan Steelworks and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries crafted the impressive 560 ton reactor pressure vessel for this unit. Throughout the construction phase, Teolisud and Voima Oi created approximately 30,000 direct and indirect jobs, with an on site workforce peaking at around 4,400 employees. In the operational phase, the project generated around 200 permanent jobs. In a nod to future expansion, the Finnish parliament approved plans for a fourth reactor, Olkiluoto 4, in July 2010. However, TVO decided against pursuing the necessary permit in June 2015. What caused the delays in the Olkiluoto project? The early stages of the project bore the weight of design delays, presenting significant challenges. However, as the project advanced and designs were solidified, the planning process became more streamlined. The Fukushima accident in 2011 added another layer of complexity, prompting engineers to reassess various design aspects. Despite this setback, the impact on construction was minimal. There was a big challenge to review the safety basis of each and every unit, which had to be done in the middle of the construction. But, since the Okilowoto 3 power reactor is one of the first reactors designed from the very beginning to cope with severe accidents, the changes introduced because of Fukushima were very limited. 95% of the concerns identified were already addressed in the Okilowoto 3 design. So what are some of the challenges faced during construction? Taking into account Finland's frigid winters, where temperatures can plummet to minus 15 degrees Celsius, 5 degrees Fahrenheit, posed a unique set of challenges. Being one of the northernmost capitals globally, Helsinki experiences harsh winter conditions. Pouring concrete in such extreme cold requires meticulous planning. To navigate this, the project team collaborated closely with sub-suppliers and implemented temperature sensors to monitor the concrete curing process. This innovative approach allowed the team to take timely actions, ensuring that the concrete met stringent guidelines and achieved the desired high-quality results. In essence, the Okilowoto project showcased not only technological prowess, but also the adaptability and problem-solving skills of its dedicated team. Now, how much did this giant construction cost? The Okilowoto nuclear power plant started with an initial cost estimate of $4 billion. However, as the project unfolded, the financial landscape underwent a seismic shift, with the cost soaring nearly threefold to a colossal $11 billion. The ensuing legal battles over the costs and losses incurred due to the project delays were resolved through an International Chamber of Commerce ICC, arbitration. The arbitration ruled in favor of compensating Taylor Sudan Voima TVO for the tumultuous journey, determining that a $555 million financial compensation be paid to TVO by the contractors involved in the project. This significant decision ended the prolonged legal disputes, and in March 2018, the parties involved officially signed the settlement agreement marking a crucial chapter in the Okilowoto 3 project's financial history. As the plant now stands in full operational prowess, producing power even in the face of market challenges, the Okilowoto stands tall as a testament to Finland's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of nuclear energy. After the Fukushima incident, which left more than 1,000 people displaced, what do you think of countries using nuclear power as the main source of energy? Is this the future of energy generation? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until next time, let's make wonders.